Hey, hello, uh, welcome to another closer diary video. So this video is about debugging. Like uh, I've seen like many closer talks or uh, what to say like uh, people who are taking on closure. Like they are saying like okay, it's very difficult to debug and okay, uh, there is almost no way to keep breakpoints in closure and all those stuff. The thing is like okay, the ripple itself is acts like a debugger. Okay, so uh, let me just. Uh, uh, okay, tell you how it's been done. So I've got a program. Uh, I've just created just to show this debugging. Okay, so like there is three functions. One is boot, right? And another one is foo. Okay, so so all I'm just doing is like placing uh, my cursor over here and possibly hitting Alt Enter or Option Enter, depending on your uh, computer. So I use Mac. Uh, Mac is not good for programming, but yeah, I just use it because it has got great processor. Maybe yeah, one day I'll run as a high Linux so that it becomes good enough. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so this function does nothing but it uh, takes a string and adds boot to it. B. Okay, so that's it. And similarly, the foo takes a string and adds a few to it. Foo, right? And the do takes a, takes a string and adds adds d to it. So I'm just uh, okay uh, to this boo like I'm uh, passing the output of foo. And to this foo, I'm passing the output of do. And to this do, I'm just passing two. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, like, um, let me just end. Uh, okay. Uh, for this video, you need to have VS Code or VS Codium. Uh, I'm using VS Codium because I don't want to get tracked by Microsoft. Uh, and then, okay, you need to have an extension called Calva. So, this is the extension. So, yeah, Calva. So, this is the extension, right? So, you need to have it, right? and uh, a proper closure installed and all those stuff right so hopefully yeah uh, only then it'll work okay so so now if i just put option enter so this entire stuff okay if, uh, this entire stuff gets executed right so that's the thing right so how to okay let's say like i just want to create a breakpoint over here so i just want to know what this block does do do of two does okay right so how to do that okay so for that what i can just do is Place my cursor here. Control Shift Enter. So do two. So if I pass two to do, it's giving do two. Okay. And if I want over here, like okay, I can just keep my cursor over here and Control Shift Enter or Return or whatever it is for do two. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Look. Uh, do two is the uh, input to foo, and you're just getting foo do two. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Right. Okay. So and uh, and over here, like of course, like control shift return yeah that's the thing so this is how you i think you you just don't need breakpoints and closure or something like that but I, okay like if there is any special situations yeah i would like to know like if somebody is watching this video and there are some situations like where we need to have breakpoints and all those stuff and uh that's the thing so like i just feel ripple driven development itself is okay but what if you want to keep a breakpoint over here and see what string gets passed so i'm not sure right so so yeah uh this is how uh this is for this video so maybe yeah like let's check for okay breakpoints in closure breakpoints in closure right maybe yeah I, I could be ignorant like just few videos before i was uh uh what to say uh very ignorant about like join methods and string and all those stuff right? so, uh, I don't know maybe my Mac internet connection broke oops doesn't seems to be something I can understand immediately right okay yeah if I understand yeah like I'll just put another video about it so yeah this is how like this is how you can almost do it with breakpoints and closure and then uh try to not to say execute it so but of course i i do don't know like how to put a breakpoint over here and inspect string i'm not sure right so that's the thing right? anyway thanks for watching this video uh let's see in the next video